Welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. Excellent kick. He's to the 20, across the 30, and he's tackled at the 44-yard line. The Cornhuskers right now, Kirk, I think they've just got to play within themselves. Sometimes you get at home and you get just a little bit too fired up at the beginning of the game. I agree with you. I think sometimes there's a tendency for certain teams to press a little bit because they're trying so hard to keep this home crowd in the game, and they've been waiting all week, and they're so excited. Sometimes you force the play. Let's let the play naturally come to you and react to it. So we'll see if this team playing at home jumps the gun a little bit or if they just let the game come to them. A good tackling safety is key for any defense. And if they can diagnose a play like this guy can, he can be a real menace. So it's second and 14. Ball on their own 40. The cavalry's coming. Slides down. He didn't get a bunch of yards, but it's better that he protects himself rather than taking a big hit on that play. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. He's out of bounds. Right around the 50. Here's the nope, they snap into the up back. He's taken down at the 49 yard line. And so now the ball's turned over on downs. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He makes his way out to about the 35. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good looking ball carrier. From the 35 yard line, it's first down. They'll bring him down at the 38 yard line. four-yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 24. Taken down at the 14. The pass results in a first down. I'll tell you, great call by the coaches on first down. It stretches the defense when they're expecting the run, and then they end up with another first down. Throws middle of the tight end. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice gain for the offense. First down. Knocking on the door here. It's first and goal inside the five. Tackle just outside the goal line. Thank <laughs> you. 
Touchdown, Eagles. The halfback just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. And he hits the PAT. A nice seven-play, 50-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He's to the 20. And he's hammered down. The Eagles are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. And a quick throw. Brought down at the 31. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Pickup from their own 37 yard line. First down. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a gain of four. That'll make it second and seven. Around the 40 yard line. Super job here by the defense of filling the gaps on the line. If you keep stringing out plays like that, you can really shut an option attack down. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. He's on the run, slides down to the ground. He got three yards there on the scramble. Not a bad return. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. I, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator would tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Boston College is up by a touchdown. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. They're stopped two yards behind the line. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. lead is a touchdown. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Here's the halfback on the screen. Tackle made at the 36-yard line. He's out to the 30, and he has it on the corner. Tackle made at the 34-yard line. 
There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And they make the stop at the 33. They swallow that one up. That option play lost about a yard. From their own 33-yard line, second down. is out to the tailback on the screen. And down he goes. Right around the 48-yard line. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. From their own 48-yard line, it's first down. Tackled at the 42 yard line. They'll go ground. Nice gain as he works the right side. They're about four yards away here on second down. game so with that run they pick up another first it's a nice job again up front by the offensive line they're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field pitches back runs it left for a decent game They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They'll drop in for a loss. Think about the speed and instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. And this play is number eight on the drive. Here's a running play. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. They're going to try a long field goal here. The kick is up. And he just drilled it from long range. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 7-3, Boston College. Nebraska gets set to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Boston College is up four. Gets out to around the 35. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. They'll knock him down for a loss. This guy's out of the stance so quickly that he's really a nightmare to try to block. They found out right here on this play. taken down. From their own 37-yard line. First down. Fires 
that quickly to the tailback. They'll bring him down right around the 46-yard line. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. And he's taken down at the 46. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Fires it out. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. First down. First and 10, ball in the 29. Boston College is up by four. They bring the quarterback down. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. This is the eighth play of this drive. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. With the pass incomplete. Third and long here, and they hope to convert another one and keep this drive going. Steps up in the pocket. Going deep. Lays it up there. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Oh, my gosh. How did he drop that? The offense has a new life and a new outlook on this game after that dropped interception. They've got ten guys up. They're coming after the kick. The punt goes out of bounds at the two-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Makes it to the 11. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. So both teams will go to the locker room looking to make some adjustments and find some second-half offense. The Eagles in front, 7-3. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This game's been everything we anticipated it being. Each team matching each other blow for blow. Just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two gangs match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But, look, wait. Don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 26-yard line. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Boston College holds a four-point lead. And he just gets rid of it. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 26. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle at the 35. Gaining 
Brought down at the 37. First and 10. Ball on their own 37. Fakes the handoff. Defense coming. Gets it out quickly. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 41 yard line. That makes it second and six. the middle for a nice game. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. He makes his way to about the 45. That makes it first and ten. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That's the kind of play calling and execution I like to see. Being one-dimensional on first down can really stack the odds against you. It's better to mix it up. Boston College is up four. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. From the 27-yard line, second down. Passes to the back, incomplete. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Quick throw, and he's tackled right around the 16-yard line. From the 16-yard line, first down. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And they push him out around the seven-yard line. So again, a third down as the offense lines up. Nice run up the middle. And this is the 14th play of the drive. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 24-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Fires quickly to the tight end. Tackle made around the 37-yard line. In the shotgun and five wideouts. And they make 
make the stop around the 46 yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Gets to about the 47 yard line. and 10 ball on the 48 yard line he's at the 40 makes it out to about the 36 it out to about the 23. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Here he goes. He gets out to about the 14-yard line. That brings in second and one. One more quarter to play, and now they're just trying to hang on. 14-3, Boston College. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Laterals back. He fights forward to about the 13. Here's play number 10 on the drive. He scrambled. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Slides down to the ground. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Touchdown, Cornhuskers! So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. A score here might effectively end this one. Boston College has a three-point lead. And they get nice yardage on that run. It's second and six. Ball in the 29. He fights forward to about the 30. the 35. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. 
booming kick. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. The Eagles kept climbing and scratching their way back in this football game. You can never count anybody out, I guess. Isn't it amazing to see what momentum can do in college football? This team right now has captured momentum. It's on their side. Now can they ride that wave to the end and try to win this game? Just throws this one away. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. And he throws it away. Man left, man left. Go down, go down. And he's giving the ball here. And he's giving the ball. Mike's going to be Mike's going to be As a man, he'll lose big yards. Well, the defense has done their job and made a nice stand. Now let's see if the special teams can come up with something here as well. Get out, get out, get out. Let's go, hurry up, on the ball, on the ball. Less than three minutes in the game. Makes it to the 48 yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. And he hauls that one in. He's tackled right around the 26 yard line. First down. From the 26-yard line, it's first down. They'll knock him down for a loss. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. Deep ball, laying it out there. Missed him. Almost a touchdown there, but that is a stellar play by the corner to get a hand in and knock it away. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. The kick is away. It's long enough, and it's good. to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 23. Nebraska's coaches have got to be confident in the fact that they've got a star player in a tight situation. And there's nothing better than having a quarterback you have confidence in in these kind of situations. You know he's going to make the right read. He's going to give his receivers a chance to make a play on the ball. And they're going to have a really good chance of moving the ball down the field to have a shot to win this game. Now he tries to buy some time. He's to the 40. He's taken down right around the 42-yard line. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. 
So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 42. Throws it in a hurry. And he's taken down at about the 49. That makes it third and three. Two times, two times. He's at the 40. They'll bring him down to the 37-yard line. From the 37-yard line, first down. Under a minute left in the game. Now he's scrambling. He's brought down in the open field. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Flips it, middle to the running back. Tackle at the 20-yard line. Got a man. Watch out here. He's pushed out of bounds at the 13. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. Touchdown, and we've got a tie ball game. Nebraska's coaching staff knows how lucky they are to have a quarterback like this. They were all smiles with us this week. Yeah, one of the more versatile quarterbacks in college football. He can do so many different things. Here late in the game with a game on the line, utilizing his athletic ability to put points up on the board. The kicker on the field will try to put his team up by a point, and he hits the PAT. I wouldn't be surprised if they just squid it here. Sends it sailing downfield. Tackle at the 21. Boston College has still got a chance here. They might come up short, but not for lack of trying. Well, I've been impressed with this team the entire way. Now we're going to really find out what they're made out of. With the game on the line, late in the ball game, how do you go out and execute? Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Brought down at the 28-yard line. Game seven on the play. That makes it second and two. Quick throw caught by the fullback. And he is drilled to 39-yard line. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. First and 10. Ball on the 39. One last play, folks. It's time to find out how far he can throw it and see if this game becomes one of the all-time greatest. Here we go. This one's in the books, and our final score, Nebraska, 18, Boston College, 17. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.